I'm making this video so that you have a little bit more instruction on how you might go about creating data for the homework that's due on Wednesday. I've got Tableau open right now and I want you to see that here is the sample workbook for the Superstore. When I click on this and open it, you'll see that uh, there are all sorts of analyses that have already been done here. Uh, there's some dashboards you can look at. You can look at individual sheets that have been created. Uh, so there are some pretty complicated things here from a Tableau point of view, but in any case, you can browse this. And then you realize that many of the Tableau tutorial materials are based on this Superstore example, which has actually been around for about 10 years or more. And the data has uh, kind of made its way from one iteration to another. That's why the products in here are kind of outdated. I've closed out the Superstore in Tableau, and what I've done is I've opened up the spreadsheet that I was showing you in class, which has the extracted data from Tableau. So this sample Superstore is actually all of the data. And then what I did was I went over to the product column, and I copied that column down, and then I went uh, created a new tab here called Product Dim Raw, and in this I just simply copied everything that was uh, related to the products. Uh, I deleted everything else. So basically I started with a copy of the Superstore, deleted everything that was not related to the product. Then I used the uh, key up here, you know, I highlighted the data and I said data remove duplicates. So I made a master uh, list of all of the different products. Then I added a uh, number here for them. Uh, so this would be my unique key Actually, uh, let's see, in the product dimension here, I added the unique key, the product ID here. Um, here, this, I'm uh, sorry, ID num is just the same thing that I put into the sa uh, sample superstore over here so that I could keep track of every single row uh, just in case I needed to reference that back as I made my new spreadsheet. In any case, here's the raw version, then here's the product dimension, and so here, if you see, I go down to the bottom and I have uh, 1,850 products in here. So I've added a product ID key here. Then I went back to my sample superstore and uh, all the way over at the end here, I have, um, or do I, let's see, do I have the product key here yet or not? It looks like I do not have the product key here. So this was one that I didn't finish. So I'll show you how I would go about finishing this. So. I'm going to put the product ID here and notice that I have a product name. I'm assuming that that's unique. Uh, let's hope that that's the case. And so I'm going to say equals V lookup and then I'll go grab that product name, comma, and then I'll go over to the product dimension, start off with the product name, go over four columns as I hold down the shift key, go to the bottom of the range hit F4, so I freeze those cell references, and then I'm counting the number of columns, one, two, three, four, over, comma, four, comma, false. That means I will only get a match if it matches 100%, and hit enter. And you can see that I've successfully looked up a product ID key here. I'm gonna <clears throat> get my cross here at the bottom of the cell, copy that formula down, and then I have, um, all of the product ID here. I'm going to highlight the column. I'm going to go back to home. I'm going to say, oh, I have to say uh, copy, and then I'm going to say paste values. So this means that I'm no longer looking that up, which means that I can go ahead in my master data here and I can delete the product name column. Delete uh, sheet columns. And let's see, I also have the uh, two other things here in the hierarchy. I've got the category and the subcategory. So I can go back here and I can delete the subcategory. I just right clicked in order to get that menu. And then let's find the category, delete that. So eventually as I go through this, if I uh, find all the things that are related to shipping, and then I find all the things that are related to the customer name, I'm going to end up with something that has just the measures in it, like the days to ship, the sales forecast, the discount rate, and this number of records just came over from Tableau. I would delete that, the order date, that might be in the um, actually in the order dimension. 
So part of this is figuring out which things go in which dimensions and then which things are actually measures. So that's how I would go backwards from a completely uh, realized star schema in one spreadsheet tab to go backwards to the individual dimensions. Now let's say I wanted to construct new data from this like you have to do in your homework assignment. What I'm going to do is open up a new tab here and let's say that I was creating my new sales uh, sales uh, fact table. <clears throat> so what I could do is I could have for this I want to be able to indicate which product is going to be part of that sales, right? So I need a product ID for this. So um, remember that in my product dimension, my product IDs go from number one to number 1850. So what I can do here is I can say um, equals rand between and then say one comma 1850. That'll give me a random number. And then I could say equals V look up take that number and then go back over to my product dimension uh, product dimension okay looks like I'm okay here because I did save the data properly and I will get my product ID and then I will go over one space and I have a blank cell right there because I forgot to do something which I'll do in a moment go down to the bottom of the range hit F4 hit 2 hit false and enter and I'm getting zero because it's looking up a blank cell, but I go back to my product dimension, go back to the top, and I'm going to say equals, and then let's get the, um, the actual product name here. And let's copy that all the way down. So back to my new fact table, and you can see that I've actually looked up the name here for product ID 1417. So if I were to, let's say I wanted to create 10 records, I could copy that down for 10. And then I could simply copy these product IDs, hit control C to copy, hit paste, hit paste special, I mean, sorry, values. And I've frozen that out. I don't really actually need to be looking up the names because in my fact table, I'm just referencing the product dimension. And I already have uh, fake data that uh, references 10 different products. So as I mentioned in the class, the way that you can go about creating your data is create a small number of uh, records in whatever dimensions you create. And then you can use something like that VLOOKUP command that I just showed you. And remember, this is what it looked like here. Um, to uh, actually just use the random command. Uh, here was the random command that I had, ran between. And by the way, if you want to bias it so that it favors certain numbers rather than others. You could make your command a little bit more complicated. Here I'm going to put just an ordinary random number, which is between 0 and 1. And then I could say uh, if, and then let's say this random number is uh, greater than 0.4, then we'll do ran between 1 and let's say 1,000. Otherwise, we'll do ran between 1001 and 1850 and now what's going to happen here is that uh, let's see let's just copy this formula down so 60 percent of the time we're going to be choosing between one and a thousand 40 percent of the time we're going to be choosing between a thousand and 1850 so depending on how i had sorted the records in that uh, dimension I could bias uh, my little fake data here so that it favored one uh, set of data more than another set of data. I hope this has been helpful in giving you some ideas about how you can go about creating your fake data.